16,000 jam-packed the Greensboro Coliseum for this first ever meeting in the championship game between number one Duke and number two Georgia Tech. And this was the rubber game of the set as Kremens and Krzyzewski had one win apiece against his rival. In this championship game, a back and forth contest. Dwayne Farrell, super soft, in the lane, connecting for 16 points. But Farrell had foul problems and sat down before half. That opened the door for Duke's pressure defense. Beautiful lead, Amaker to Dawkins on the reverse side. The Blue Devils led by three at the break. They extended that, but Georgia Tech got right back in it when they punched it inside, finding their center, John Sally. Sally with nine boards and 13 points. And Tech's guards did their job. Mark Price, 16 points and seven assists. That off the feed from Craig Neal. And that got Georgia Tech fired up. But the Jackets made critical mistakes. Hammonds gives the ball right to Billis. Billis finished with eight rebounds, and David Henderson flashes in the lane for 10 points and six boards. And this championship game had now become a last possession contest. Kremens takes a timeout to set up a play. Dwayne Farrell from the foul line. Farrell hits with less than a minute, and Tech takes a 63-62 lead. But Johnny Dawkins comes right back with a circus shot in the lane, and it's Duke 64-63. With less than a minute, Craig Neal goes to the hoop, and Tech is back up by one, 65-64. But Duke could not be stopped. Mark Allery, soft shot over Tom Hammonds. Allery finished with 17. Duke got a couple of free throws from Johnny Dawkins, and Georgia Tech could not convert. Neal missed a shot, and Price hit the last bucket. Final score, 68-67, Duke's seventh tournament title in 14 trips to the finals and their first since 1980.